Okay, in this video, we're going to show you how the Boom Blaster's horns functions and how to hook it up correctly. Okay, you'll notice here, here's the horn, right? You have a red wire, you have a black wire, and you have a yellow wire, right? So what you want to do is you want to ensure that the red wire is on a good 12-volt connection. So it can either be hooked to the battery or a good, or good solid 12-volt connection somewhere else, right? So the black wire needs to be hooked to either the negative post on your battery or, again, another good... Uh, connection to a uh, ground somewhere right to a negative connection there right to a ground in your automobile so that's simple as that red wire to the positive black to a negative right and you got a yellow wire here and what the yellow wire does and how this horn functions is it takes one tap so that actually that actuates the horn and it plays through the cycle of the sound that's put on the horn that it's actually programmed into the horn for you right so um, that's how we test them here. We test them here and hook them up and so forth on batteries. And uh, I'll put this down there so it's not as loud. But it's simply just the activation of just tapping it one time. On the uh, positive side, right? So you don't want to tap it on the negative side. So we've got people that ask a lot about hooking these up to uh, either to, the, to their uh, wireless locking mechanism on a vehicle so you can hook it up that way and hook it up to the lights the front lights that flash in your vehicle uh, most people hook these up to a horn button so you can use a monetary horn button so you can use the horn button in your vehicle or you can buy a little horn button at a, at a uh, shop somewhere there's you know either a parts store or a farm store somewhere a lot of people sell the, the horn button so it's a monetary horn button you push in and let off and you hook this to one side what you would do to the horn button or a toggle switch a lot of people use toggle switches as well with the horn button, you'd have a, a wire going to the one side of the button, and this would go to the other side of the button, right? So when you push the button, it would activate this wire at one time. Same thing with toggle switch. The only difference in the toggle switch is you cannot uh, leave it up. So you'd have to toggle it up and back down, right? So it's really not monetary. But a lot of people use toggle switches. So it, what you do with the toggle switch, you hook a wire going to a positive to one side of the toggle switch, and this would go to the other side of the toggle switch, right? And then you just flip the toggle switch up and flip it back down really quickly so it activates this uh, sound here. So it's fairly easy. It's really easy to hook up, guys. Just be sure ensure that you mount this thing somewhere securely. Uh, there's holes and stuff in here. We don't we supply screws with this unit because so many different setups people can use and stuff. And be sure you tie your wires back from things that won't, you know, you won't get hit by a fan or, you know, something gets rubbed or, you know, a belt or something like that in your vehicle. Uh, put it securely somewhere. And, uh, you know, position it as well so it can be really heard very loudly. So a lot of people put these in their grills um, and, or under the hood. Just make sure you got it positioned where it's got the full sound coming out, right? So this thing's really easy to hook up, guys. It's as simple. Just get that out of the box positive negative and hook this up to a monetary somehow power source right so you know it's as simple as this and you can see this is just the sound that we've got this is the jaguar sound that we sell on our horns and this is just for the video sake that we've got that sound on there easy to hook up guys simple simple uh, if you have any problems, just feel free to give us a call or email us. But it's really simple to hook up. Uh, if you have problems with it, if you don't feel securely hooking it up, you know, get a hold of one of your local mechanics or somebody that you know that's you feel secure uh, to hook this up for you, right? So it's only three wires, positive, negative, and this, this is just sitting here for testing purposes. This is a 12-volt battery. You can also hook it up to a lantern battery as well, too. So if you want to hook up to a 12-volt lantern battery and carry it around, you know, and take it to... Uh, a, a game or something like that but you, like, so you can hit this up to a car truck van anything as long as 12 volts you're you're ready to go with this right you got a 12 volt vehicle a, a motorcycle atv a van car truck whatever as long as you got 12 volts you're ready to go with this so easy hook up guys uh if you got any questions feel free to hit us up, uh, hit us up. thanks